Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Mayor who defied Trump refused to protect citizens just found guilty of what else she did. Should they face criminal charges for this? The Trump administration has taken leaps and bounds toward restoring the authority of Immigration and Customs Enforcement (ICE) to find and deport illegal aliens in the United States. ICE's jobs have become much more difficult under the Obama administration because of their illegal friendly stance on deportation. With the rise of sanctuary cities, the legal ramifications of illegal deportation have become a political minefield, but one that ICE is still carefully navigating. However, when Oakland, California Mayor Libby Schaaf took the sanctuary status a step further, it left many wondering if her actions were even legal. Mayor Schaaf, because of her position, found out that there would be an ICE raid in her area. While it's important for law enforcement agencies to be able to coordinate the execution of the law, Schaff put all that in jeopardy when she took that knowledge and spread it around to anyone and everyone on social media. Schaff's stunt ensured that the illegals who have taken refuge in her area were able to avoid places that they might be taken into custody, and the fallout was massive. Not only did the illegals evade arrest and were able to carry out more crimes, it's raised the question as to whether Schaff abused her authority and whether other mayors looking to win points with immigrants and potential future voters, might do the same. According to Breitbart News, the president himself has been putting that question to those around him, and now to the people. According to a speech that the president gave in West Virginia on Thursday, the president pivoted from his planned topic of tax reform and spoke briefly about Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf. He accused Schaaf of obstruction of justice for warning illegal immigrants about a raid by federal deportation officers last February. If you look in California and see what is happening, it is an incredible phenomenon because sanctuary cities, it is the worst. It is the city to protect a lot of people who are bad people. He continued, how about the mayor of Oakland where she tells a thousand people to get going, law enforcement is coming to get you. This is all planned and many of them scattered. It was pretty much a failure. To me, that is obstruction of justice. Something should happen there. It hasn't, and I do not know why it hasn't. But something should happen there. We are toughening up at the border. We will be in great shape over the next 12 months. We will have a lot of things happening. We cannot let people enter our country. His comments about bad people is an unpopular one, but not at all off base as previously reported previously reported, some of the criminals that escaped ICE in February have gone on to cause more trouble elsewhere. This wasn't the first or only report about the damages done by the Oakland mayor when she warned illegals about the upcoming raid. ICE acting director Thomas Homan made a statement about the event and he was less than supportive of Schaff's decision. Acting Director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement Thomas Homan said Wednesday that the Oakland mayor's public warning about an upcoming raid left hundreds of criminals on the street and endangered law enforcement. Being a law enforcement officer is already dangerous enough, but to give the criminals a heads up that we're coming in the next 24 hours increases that risk, Mr. Homan said on Fox News. Mayor Libby Schaff warned residents of the upcoming raid over the weekend saying it was her duty and moral obligation to do so. She said she wanted to give residents the opportunity to learn their rights and know their legal options, the San Francisco Chronicle reported. There's over 800 significant public safety threat criminals. These are people here illegally already and committed yet another crime, been convicted of a crime, she gave them warning, and there were over 800 that we were unable to locate because of that warning. So that community is a lot less safe than it would have been, Mr. Homan said. He said the agency isn't going to back down despite how politicians may choose to vilify them, adding that a border wall would help the agency control the issue of illegal immigrants. Any government official who has an issue with the way another government official is doing their jobs should certainly notify those the superiors of those who they consider to be a threat. However, Schaff's complaint about ICE was not that they were doing their jobs incorrectly, it was that they shouldn't be doing their jobs at all. Schaff has a problem with the very nature of ICE and what it stands for. While conservatives across this nation would fight for her right to have whatever opinion she wishes on whatever subject she wishes, many were disconcerted when she took that opinion and acted on it, to the point of aiding criminals to evade arrest. While all of the talks about more crime being committed, if ICE was unable to do its job, used to be sheer conjecture, there is now hard and fast proof, sheltering illegals from ICE caused more crimes to be committed. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.